dating tasks. Now Todoist has some incredible powerful features in order to help you get the most out of dating your tasks and in this week's episode of Working with Todoist I'm going to show you just about all of them. Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can date a task in Todoist. Well all the ways that I know which I've checked pretty much everywhere. I think I've covered them all but you can be the judge for yourself. So hopefully you'll get a lot out of this video and if you do get a lot out of this video I would really appreciate it if you would hit that little like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet I would consider it to be a huge thank you if you would subscribe to my channel. Okay let's go straight into Todoist this week and I will show you everything you need to know about dating in Todoist. Right so here we are in my demo account and what I want to do is to show you all the various different ways that you can use the, the date function in to do it. Now before we get started though there's a thing that you really do need to be uh, aware of. What you can do is you can turn on or off Todoist's natural date parsing system. And to do that we go into settings and I've got to find this and my internet is going rather slow this morning. I probably should have uh, done this slightly differently. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into general so you'll find it in general well, we are being very slow today and you've got this little part here is smart date recognition now the smart date recognition you can either have it on or off so yes I want to do is to automatically recognize due dates now this is probably the best way to set it up now I as many of you probably know use drafts and it can be a little bit um, awkward with drafts because I'm not able to click on it when it sends it directly to a Todoist but I don't really have a problem with that. Uh, for generally though yes I want this turned on so you're going to make sure that that is turned on. Once we've got that on I'm going to go back into my to Evernote. We're going to, uh, to do is, what I'm going to do is go into my routines because I've removed all the dates in this so I can show you the various things. Now let's say let's start with the very basic one. <clears throat> We're going to that one and I want to do that today so all I have to do is type Todd and it will come up there, hit return and that's going to come up for today. Now let's say that this one here, add today's expenses to expenses sheet, I really want to do that tomorrow so I'm going to type in Tom and that's going to come up and I can hit return. So you can see that the dates are really really very simple. Now those are the very basic ones and I'm sure you know those ones but what about this one, update student attendance sheets. Let's say I want to do that on the 5th of next month. So all I have to do is 5 and April um, and I, I really only have to get to those three letters 5th of April and that's done. But now and let's say we want to do clear action today folder and email. Now normally that's done every single day but let's just say this is a different task and I want to do this one uh, on the 15th of every month. So all I would have to do is actually no because this is a routine and this is a genuine one clear action today folder in email let's go this one I want to do this every single day so the really simple one is there is just type EV you don't even have to type every you can just type EV and day and you'll see that it gets highlighted and you hit the return and that's going to come up every single day as you can see there 21st of March which is the day of recording and it's going to come up every single day. Now those are the basic dating functions. They are the ones that, now let's just give you another couple more because we've got quite a few in here so I can go through quite a few in here. Now let's say that you want to do your 30 minutes exercise uh, every 10th of every month. Now this one's actually a little bit less logical. Uh, again we start with E because it's going to be every, so EV and then every Oh, so sorry, EV10 and that's going to come up on the 10th of every month. So that says every 10 as you can see down there, I don't know if zoom in on there you can see that every 10 uh, and that means that 10th of every month. So let's say I've completed that and I do that and it's going to 10th of May, 10th of June, that's going to come up every 10th of every month. So every 10 
uh, if I just open that one, because this is one that everyone uh, generally has a problem with. So I'm just going to remove the date from that. So what you do is EV and say every 14th, every four, and that's going to come up on the 14th of April. Now that's when you get into that, that is super, super fast way of doing it. And I really actually love one of that part of the dating function. Now, what about if you wanted to do it every so often? So let's say you wanted to do a task every two weeks. Again, this is actually very simple. So you just type EV again, so it's every two and then weeks. Whoops. Uh, all you have to actually type is every two week. Hit that. That's going to come up from today and then it's going to come up on the next in 14 days time. Now you could actually type in because people ask me about this. Let's remove the date on this one. Um, people ask me about this one all the time actually and it's how about if I want to do it every every say 20 days so you just do every EV 20 days hit that that's going to come up from today and then every 20 days so you can choose however many days you want uh, again you can do that with months as well so while I'm in here I can take change that to every three months um, so as you can see from there it says Thursday the 21st of March which is today forever so every three months now here's a little cool thing every three months four and let's say uh, six months so now what happens is it's actually going to tell me this is going to repeat from the 21st of March until the 21st of September and repeats every three months that's a super super cool way of when you're processing your inbox and you want to put a repeating date on you just hit return and that's going to come up and it's going to end it tells me the ending date when I check it there it will tell me the ending date so that's a really another way that you can get some real power out of your uh, dating functions in to do is now what about if you're not sure what the date is but you want to do like say uh, I want to do 15 minutes planning uh, but I want to do that in six weeks time um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in six weeks oops I'm going to do that correctly uh, so I'm going to type six weeks all right in six weeks there you go tap that and that's going to come up now and it's going to actually do I've got 42 days left and it's going to come up on the 2nd of May so there's a lot you can do with your dating in Todoist it's really really fast if you turn on the natural date parsing now for those of you who are quite new to Todoist it's automatically switched on now what do you do if you actually type in a date that you don't really want so do golden 10 in three days and I say that's not what I want the task is do golden 10 in three days then what you do is just click on it and it will disappear and now if I hit return there's no date and it's actually completed with the thing with the actual date now the thing about this is that also works on all mobile devices it works on the desktop as I'm using here it works on pretty much everything you just tap it and you can remove the actual date parsing one final one before we finish this is what happens if you want to do something recurring but you don't want to start now you want to start sometime in the future so what you would do there is say every so we start EV two weeks and then you type in from and let's say 2nd of May so now I've got every two weeks but starting from the 2nd of May so every two weeks from 2nd of May when I hit return that's going to come up now 2nd of May uh, every two weeks and it's just going to come up uh, from there so I don't need to worry about it it's going to come up when I need to see it so that's essentially all you need to know about dating in Todoist uh, hopefully I think I've covered every single format or way of doing it if I've missed something then please leave a comment in the comment section below explaining what else you can do but I think that covers pretty much everything you need to know about dating in Todoist Okay, if you found this episode useful, please just hit that like button as a way of saying thank you. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would be so grateful if you would hit that subscribe button because that really does help me. So thank you very much for watching. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, 
then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course, and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.